Public humiliation. I'm sure most of us have all been in that situation where you do something and then screw up as the crowd starts to laugh at you. It's happened many times to me before, but these are the times where ripping my pants was involved. In elementary school, I didn't have many friends. I got bullied a lot by the other students because I was an easy target. It got to a point where I would just sit on a bench alone during recess because I was too afraid to talk to the other students. Also, they were just really sucky people. After a few weeks of sitting alone by myself, I decided that if they didn't want to play with me, it was time that I just went out and played for myself. Foursquare always looked fun to me. The other girls looked down on it because it wasn't a girl game. What does that even mean? Their definition of a good time was to dig in the dirt to search for fairies? I'm sorry, but... What? Winning a court in Foursquare gave you some street cred. People would treat the winner with respect. If I was going to be noticed and seen as an equal, then I had to put myself out there. I was determined to win. After a few games, I became really good at it. I started winning every game I played, and the other kids started to really hate me, especially the guys. Not really the image I wanted, but at that point, I didn't care. I was having too much fun. Now, it was customary for the winner of the game to do a little victory dance. Hey, everyone needs to gloat here and there, otherwise, what's the point of winning? Everyone did that when they won. Don't look at me like I'm the bad guy. One week, my mom had bought me some new pants. I was feeling pretty good that day. Everyone was in line to get for the court. Players kept getting kicked out until it was my turn. And after a few rounds, I won the court and proceeded to do the victory dance. But then tragedy struck. I decided, I don't know why, to kick up my leg with a huge grin on my face only to hear... Did that just happen? Horrified, I looked down and my pants had split all the way from the back to the pant leg. You could totally see my underwear and I panicked. Okay, okay, no one saw that. Uh, calm down. The other kids were waiting for me to start the game. Uh, Shannon, you're playing, right? Oh, uh, I'm done for the day. I, I just want to watch. Uh, but you just won? All I had to do was make it to the nurse's office before someone noticed. I knew they weren't going to let me live it down. After a few steps of me trying to get out of there without being noticed, in the background, all I heard was, Look, she split her pants! Just booked it. <laughs> I ran into the nurse's office as fast as I could to get some new pants. Once I got back into the classroom, they would not stop talking about it. I was so embarrassed and just wanted to die. The next day, I went back to the courts, and... <laughs> then the next day... <laughs> Alright, so after the third time, I've had enough. I really don't care. I am not going to lose another recess because of a wardrobe malfunction. Oh, hey, I can see your... You have a problem? No, sorry. I don't know what brand my mom bought, but they were obviously not made very well if they could just tear with one kick. Or maybe I was secretly the Hulk in a third grader's body. The world may never know. My situation in high school wasn't any better. I was bullied by a lot of people. Why? I've got no clue. They messed out, honestly. I usually walked to school alone until I met this girl that was two years older than me. She was the coolest person I've ever met. Whenever her friends weren't around, she would walk with me to school. My whole world lit up when she was around. I was so full of energy, I basically turned into a puppy. So me and the girl were walking to school one day. I was wearing some new pants. Once again, my mom had picked them out. They were a little too long and beige, which was a color I never really wore. Mainly because I don't know if you've ever been standing there and you notice someone with like a skin tone kind of pants and you have to do like a double take like, wait, are they, are they wearing clothes? That's why I never really liked beige, but they were from my mom and <laughs> was I not going to wear them? Walking with her, I was getting really excited and my sense of balance was all over the place and all of a sudden... I totally tripped right in front of everyone. Nothing was in my way. I got up and I was so embarrassed I couldn't face her. The laughter of everyone else around me was so embarrassing. She asked me if I was okay 
and being stubborn and prideful, I was like, yeah, it's just a scratch. I was afraid she didn't want to hang out with me anymore after that, so I played it off as cool as I could. It was probably the length of the pants, but I totally biffed it. Once I got to school, I ran into the bathroom to see the damage. I had totally split my pants on the left knee, and I could feel blood pouring down to my ankles. My pants were ruined, but I wasn't about to miss school over something like this. The left side of my pants were ruined, so I just ripped the other side off and made it into a pair of shorts. I probably should have sought out medical treatment, but I mean... I'm too lazy for that. I had a huge scab on my knee for months. Takeaway from this video is that we've all been publicly humiliated before and that's totally okay. Don't ever be afraid to just be yourself. If you do happen to be teased or bullied, don't pay attention to that. Don't be like me and cry on a bench. Go out there and have fun. We can all get embarrassed from time to time. Have you ever ripped your pants or biffed it in front of your friends? Tell me in the comments below. And thanks for watching.